Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in our World of Flowers page. We're getting quite near the end um, of the shelf. I'm quite excited in a way to get towards doing the background, but on the other hand, a bit nervous, but we'll see how it all goes. Today we're going to do this and this. So they're quite far apart, but I thought this is really small, so we'll do this one at the same time. I'm going to move the little pot into the middle. Um, things around the edge of my um, um, camera tend to get a bit blurred. So we'll do this one. Um, there we go. Um, so we want a blue pot and obviously it's just um, a plain little pot. Um, I thought I might do it in a um, this colour. This is the cobalt blue. I find it quite pretty and it's quite different to this one. So that's... Uh, I'm trying to make them similar to each other but um, not the same colour next to each other. And uh, what I'm doing here is just building up the layers of colour at the edges of the pot to give a rounded look as we have done with all of the others on this page. Now just a reminder, if you haven't been following along um, all of the videos or need to catch up on a few, there is a playlist and there's a link in the description to the playlist so you can pop along and uh, find every video for every element on this page. Obviously if you're watching this one on the day it comes out you won't be able to find the ones for these yet, they haven't come out but um, the ones that I've already done will be on there. Now colour of this, now I'm thinking a little bit ahead, we've got holly here, it's going to be a dark deep cobalt green probably so I want this one to look different now we've got olive greens tones on this one so I think if we just do a sort of a mid green light green actually we haven't got very many really light ones so I'm thinking if I just use a grass green which is quite light in the polychromos it will just um, look a bit different so I'm going to just use this one colour and just fade it towards the tip like that. If you um, find it difficult to do this fading then you can always put a darker colour at the bottom to make it look a bit darker rather than um, trying to make it lighter. Having a light touch is quite tricky. Um, it's something that I, when I first started colouring I was very light because um, I was sort of unconfident and nervous so I didn't push the colour down very hard then I built and also it gives you writer's cramp you know your hand aches pushing down hard but then as I built up I started pushing her down harder and actually I had to learn unlearn that a little bit later I'm just going to try whoops something stopping me moving my book along oh it's my lamp we're going to have to do that I think we'll be okay it's not really near the middle um, but I think it'll be okay. So we've got a flower again. Now all of our flowers are done in pinks in the same sort of purpley pinky family and um, this one I remember what I use for those so I think hmm, maybe not quite so confident so I'm thinking about um, but they all look quite similar so it doesn't matter too much um, I quite like to do something a bit lighter, so I think what I'll do, yeah, I'm going to start with this pencil, which is the Pink Madder Lake. It's really light. Um, there, it's small, so you can't see the name. So I'm going to do a gentle layer of this over all of the flower. To start with, we will add other colours over the top. Now. This is a picture. I don't know whether they're supposed to be paintings or photographs, it doesn't really matter. So they're not going to be sort of lots of shading and things like that, but we can do a little bit. I'm also thinking I quite like a border. This one's got a border. You can see on the corners there's a few lines, so I'm going to turn that into a little border. You don't have to do this, but I think it um, is fun. So. I'm actually thinking maybe the border was supposed to be white and maybe there was a background behind the flower. But I've done all of my little pictures with a white background so I'm going to keep this one the same. 
or maybe it's like supposed to be a Polaroid photograph. I'm not sure, but it's done now like that. So there we go. Now I'm going to think about doing some shading actually with this pencil and I may not add other colours in. So I'm going to give it a sharpen because it's quite small. We need to get into the small spaces. There we go. Oh sorry, I clattered then. Sorry, against my remote control. So I'm going to get in here and add a few more layers of colour. And then around the edge of this centre part. I may just leave the centre really pale, but... I, I don't normally do that, so I don't know how comfortable I'll feel with doing that, but we'll see. So around the edge of here. And in here, so all these sort of areas where the petals slightly being overlapped, we'll put a little bit of darker in, partly because there will be some shadow, but also it might be slightly bent and therefore um, shadowed. It's a really simple technique and it just adds some interest to the picture, I think. I'm trying to think about what to do with this border around the edge of the flower. I've got a few ideas. I may just use this. I'm going to try just doing a layer here and leaving the outside a bit lighter. But I might find that it just covers it all. You need a steady hand and a sharp pencil. A sharp pencil I can do, a steady hand I can't. My hand doesn't shake, I just no good at staying in the lines. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And the and the pale centre I'm going to leave. You might want to put a little dot in the middle or make it a bit darker. I don't know, I'm leaving it. Now we have the leaves. And, hmm, I'm thinking it's, hmm, yeah, uh, yes, <laughs> leaf green I'm going to use. I may only use this colour, I may use two. I'm going to put a good layer on here, and we're going to use the same technique we did with the petals. So a nice good layer here, and then less towards the tip. Mm. It's getting cloudy again. I've got to go out in a minute. <laughs> I don't want it to rain. I've got a big pile of stuff to take to the charity shop. The boys are going to come with me. We've got a bag each to take. And uh, I think we're sorting out the kitchen. Found some things that we don't need anymore. Pass them on so someone else can use them. I've got still got a lot of sorting to do, but uh, it's the first batch. I wanted to get rid of the bags of stuff so that I can get back in there and do some more sorting. Now, hmm, I'm going to layer this up more here. Now you can, Johanna's paper takes a lot of layers, which is nice. You can just keep layering and layering. You can add a darker colour if you want to make a big impact. But actually, I just want this colour. I really like it. But I just want there to be more contrast between the this end of the leaf and that end. So by just layering it up a bit more, we can do that. Okay. So there we go. I think that is us done. So we have got this flower and this pot. And again, it's quite a quick video today. Some of these are going to be quite quick. Um, just because... Um, well, the afternoon videos are um, always designed to be quick. I think we're on a bit of a slant. Hang on. Is it better? I'm no good at knowing if something's straight. Never mind. But that's me for today. So come back tomorrow. We'll be doing the holly, which you can't really see now. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing that one. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and happy covering.